Hey guys, welcome back to Oaks and Arrows. My name is Erin. I am a homeschooling mom of four children ages nine, seven, five, and three. And I have been teaching for eight years. And this is our third year homeschooling. And I just wanted to share the math curriculum that we have used and what our thoughts are on that. And that curriculum is the Horizons Math Curriculum. The Horizons Math Curriculum is one that is very popular in the homeschooling community. Um, it has been recommended to me time and time again by homeschooling moms that I trust and love and who have very smart, bright children that are great at math now. Um, and I've also seen it on YouTube, on social media, on Instagram, used by different families. And so, um, so that started my research into using the curriculum. Um, I also saw that when I started researching that it is written by Christians, which we love. And as we were researching, we found it is a spiral based curriculum, which coming from the public school system that does everything from a mastery based approach, I personally was super excited by that, um, by this different approach, because when I left teaching public school, I wanted to do everything different from what the public school had done. So when I saw that spiral was all about adding in a little more information while continuing to review old materials, that sounded, um, that sounded awesome. That sounded like a great way to learn math. And so um, with the recommendations and the research that I did, we jumped into this. And I didn't jump into a math curriculum, a math curriculum lightly. Um, my heart is that when I choose curriculums, I want to be researched enough that I'm not having to jump around a bunch of different curriculums with my kids. I, I really am hoping that I choose curriculums that we will use for years. So that was my heart in choosing um, the Horizons curriculum. This is what it looks like. This is Math 3. We um, so far have done kindergarten, first, second, and third grade with this curriculum. So this is the teacher book and it comes with two copies of the student book. Um, the Horizons curriculum is 160 lessons and in each of these books there's 80 lessons in each plus test. So the tests are not included in those lessons. They're meant to be done in addition to a lesson on those days that they're assigned. So for a daily lesson, I'll look at the first grade book, I think, for this. For your daily lessons, what you would do is you as the parent would flip open to a lesson in the teacher book and you essentially I mean, it gives you objectives, which what you're hoping they get out of the lesson. It gives you some teaching tips, and then it gets into the materials and supplies you would need, and then the activities you're gonna do with your child. Um, every day, you usually run over some flashcards with your child, then you're going to get into the lesson, which is, in this book, the student workbook. Um, so then you would find their matching lesson. So like this side would be one lesson and then the back side would be that same lesson. Then as the parent, you're basically going through one of each section from this book with them before they get started on it. Um, it gives different equations in the book, in the parent book, for you to do. But a lot of times I would do um, 
just one from their problems so that they would see that we worked through it together. So that's another example of a lesson. Like if they're doing a bunch of addition, we would do one of each style equation before she does it on her own. Then they also are supposed to do one of the worksheets in the book. So at the back, there's a section in the parent book called worksheets and you would find the assigned worksheet and they would have to do either the whole worksheet, see how this one doesn't have any divisions, so they do the whole worksheet here, or they would do part of a worksheet, see how it has different drill numbers. Um, so in recap, your child is doing flashcards with you, then you're going through their lesson book with them, and then they're doing a worksheet, and then they're supposed to finish the lesson on their own. Um, as you get older, it gets um, a little more time consuming. Um, the lessons are in smaller fonts and there's more problems, so it takes them more time. Like you would expect from first grade to third grade, the workload is going to go up. But same concept, the difference is, um, you know, in third grade, your child's probably doing multiplication flashcards then you're doing the lessons with them and then you're getting into an equation with them. Let's see. So that's what a third grade book looks like. So our first year of homeschooling, jumping in, um, I had a kindergartner and a second grader. And um, for kindergarten and first grade, the lessons work really well. They're simple, quick lessons. Um, they're beautiful, colorful pages. Um, and they use pictures that the kids enjoy looking at and keep them engaged. Um, without using a ton of manipulatives, which is nice um, because I have some children that excel with manipulatives. I have other kids that find manipulatives to be a distraction, so it was nice that it wasn't as many manip manipulatives as some other curriculums. Um, but I have um, my older son, my second grader, he excels at math. He loves math. He's very, just a math-minded type of kid, very technological, um, very detail-oriented, and um, very advanced in math. And we started with the Horizons curriculum, and right off the bat, it would take him an hour or so to do math on his own. Um, and as the year continued, it would take like an hour and a half, um, sometimes even two hours. And so I thought um, he can be, you know, a little boy. So he has, he, he loses focus sometimes. He can be stubborn sometimes as many children are. And so I thought, well, maybe um, he just needs to adjust to working on this style of curriculum. Um, maybe he's losing focus too much and so I would sit right there with him the whole time and not have my other children doing any other work while he was doing that so I could focus just with him and it would still take a very long time to do math. Um, then I thought you know maybe it's the way I'm teaching so in towards the end of second grade and all through the third grade book if he had mastered a concept we crossed those things out so that the lessons weren't quite as long and tedious um some days we would just focus on my part of the lesson and other days we would just focus on the student workbook um and that seemed to go better for a while 
and um, we were still learning things. My daughter did really good as a kindergartner and first grader with this math program. Um, so um, we went ahead and did it the next year and I figured, you know, we know what we're doing now. It's going to go smooth now. And to be honest, it didn't. Um, the math curriculum was taking us even longer to complete. Um, I was still crossing things out. Um, I was looking for assistance, so I was reaching out to other homeschool moms that I knew, seeing how, what they had done, and to, there's like a Facebook support group for the curriculum, and I was seeing in there what other moms had done. And a lot of them, uh, most of their advice was to cut out parts of the curriculum, that that's what they were doing to make it work for them, was cutting out sections. Um, and so we just kept trying to truck through with it. And then we got to multiplication. And um, one thing I noticed about the multiplication is that there isn't a focus on memorizing multiplication facts. They do do a good job with skip counting. They expect you to have a pretty good basis in your skip counting, which then translates to multiplication. Um, but my son was just having a hard time with that. And um, because of the spiraling of the curriculum, you would have multiplication one day, and then you might not see it for a couple of days. So, or maybe you just have a very small section of multiplication every day, and then a lot of review work in there along with the multiplication, um, which is hard when you're learning such an important tool as multiplication. Not only that, it really jumped pretty quickly in my opinion as somebody who was a teacher. It jumped really quickly from single digit multiplication to double digit multiplication, triple digit multiplication. Um, it jumped rather quickly even for my child who, like I said, is truly advanced in math. Um, so we were kind of just pushing through that. Then all of a sudden, division um, concepts were starting to be introduced. And my son didn't even have a full, um, he understood how to do multiplication, but he was doing all the problems so slowly because he didn't have them memorized that it was just a tedious task trying to get math done. So at this point, we stopped doing horizons for a full four or five weeks and just worked on memorizing multiplication. And that was a big game changer for us. We got a lot accomplished. Um, we built back up the confidence level in doing math. Um, and then we finished out the year, but I did skip a lot of things the rest of the year. Um, to help keep it more focused on multiplication instead of adding in some of these division concepts um, too soon. Um, that's just kind of the experience that we, we had. We did finish up Math 3, but by the end of Math 3, we knew we were going to have to figure out something different for our math curriculum. Um, so we did some research, um, we asked around, and we found ourselves using Math UC. And I'm not gonna get into how that's going this school year yet. I'll do that in a different video. Um, but we have switched curriculums after that experience with Horizons. I do see it working for some kids I do see families continuing to use it, so it does work for some families. It did not work for us. It did not work for us. Um, we did learn a lot from the experience of using the Horizons math curriculum. Um, we learned that if you have to continue to change and tweak a curriculum on a regular basis to make it work for your child, it may not be the right fit for your child. 
So where we, we did that for over a year, we probably stuck with it too long, if I'm being honest. Um, so we're really glad we made that change. The curriculum we're using, I will say, the curriculum we're using now, we're not having to make nearly the changes. In fact, we're not having to make any changes to the curriculum for it to work really well for our children. Um, and then the second thing we learned from this if you're finding that a curriculum that you're using is not working for your child, my advice would be from my experience to find a curriculum that's very different from the one you were using. If it's just not working at all for your child, find something completely different. For example, um, a lot of the favorite curriculums for homeschoolers are spiral-based curriculums. They um, are the curriculums that introduce new toplet topics gently and add a lot of review. Um, but from my experience talking to families that homeschool, those curriculums tend to take longer. Um, and for certain kids, that amount of review can be very frustrating. And where I have a child that, like I said, he's more advanced in math, um, he's more technologically focused. Having that much review um, was a little frustrating. So instead of finding another popular spiral curriculum, we decided to go the mastery route and see what mastery curriculums there were, which is how we landed on Math UC. So um, that is the change, one of the biggest changes we made to our homeschooling this year and it has been a really good positive change. Um, if you're somebody who's used Horizons and had a positive experience with it, I would love to hear that below, how it's working for your kids, um, any changes you've made to how you teach the curriculum to make it work for your kids. I would love to hear that in the comments, or if you had a similar experience, share that. Um, and what you switched to and what is now working for your family. I'd love to hear that. Um, thank you guys for following along and watching. I post content once or twice a week here on YouTube about homeschooling and about our family. So if you'd like to follow along, please subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <music>